Hi and welcome to the uh, first module of this Photoshop basics course. All right. Um, what I want to do is I want to talk about uh, navigating through the document window and um, just some of the keyboard shortcuts that uh, I personally use to make working in Photoshop a lot easier. All right, and I know there, there's some of you out there that say, yeah, I know how to manipulate my way around this thing and everything else, and that's nice. Please bear with me. Let me just do this and get this uh, out, out of the way. All right, great, thanks. Now, uh, first of all, what I want to do is point out that I am currently viewing my document at 50% viewing, and that we can see up in the title bar, and we can also see that down in the bottom left-hand corner. We can also see it somewhere else, and we'll get into that in a couple of minutes. Now, in order to start zooming in on our document, generally what we'll do is come over here and grab our zoom tool. And I'm going to click on the zoom tool, and you can see up in the options bar here that we have a number of different options, items available to us the actual pixels fit screen, uh, fill screen, and print size are also available under the view menu right in here and you can see that we have some keyboard shortcuts so we'll eventually be coming back to these things. This thing here called scrubby zoom I'll show you uh, in a minute and then uh, this resize windows to fit is a nice thing to have as our um, defaults coming on to Photoshop here. Now, something else I want to point out over here on the upper left-hand corner in the options bar is the fact that by default we have the um, zoom tool set to zoom in as opposed to zooming out. And I never use these buttons. Um, I always want my zoom tool to be in the zoom in uh, uh, setting, so at least I know what's going to happen when I click on it. All right, if I ever want to uh, zoom out, I can just hold down the Option key on the Mac or the Alt key on the PC, and I'll get the zoom out or minus indicator on my zoom tool. All right, so now I can just kind of click on here one, two, three, and uh, just keep clicking all I uh, want or need. And you can see now I'm at 300%. I've zoomed in quite a bit. You can start seeing the images uh, starting to pixelate a little bit here. Um, if I want to zoom out now, I just hold down the Option key on the Mac, the Alt key on the PC, and I can start to zoom out. Notice that I'm zooming in. Let me go back to 100% here. I'm at 100%, and if I click to zoom in again, I'll go to 200%. If I click to zoom again, I'll go to 300%. All right. Now, if I hold down the Option key on the Mac, Alt on the PC, and click to zoom out, you'll see that once I'm at the 100% view, when I zoom out now, I'll be going down to 66.7. And then if I click again, I go to 50%. I click again, I go down to 33.3, 25, 16-something, and 12 and a half, so on and so forth. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to introduce keyboard shortcuts to zoom in and zoom out. Now, this resize windows to fit is going to uh, be really, really uh, uh, beneficial. All right, watch this. I click to do this, and as I'm doing this, I'm holding down the uh, command key and I'm tapping the plus key on the Mac and on the PC, that would be control plus. And as you guessed, control minus or command minus will allow me to zoom out. So zooming in and zooming out. Now, this feature here, which is resize windows to fit, that's the window itself that the document's actually being displayed in. And when I do a command minus to zoom out, you'll notice that the window resizes to fit the document view. All right, that's all that that is all about. All right, all right. So now I'm going to move on to the next one here, which is zoom all windows. If I had multiple documents open, then I can actually zoom them all. And you'd use that for comparisons. All right, so if you're uh, trying to look at which model has, you know, you've got two or three images of the same model and you're trying to see which one has the best expression or which one's eyes are actually communicating with the camera better and all that kind of stuff, then you might want to use that feature. 
scrubby zoom is kind of neat. Um, you click and if you drag, you can actually zoom in on the area and you click and drag the other direction and you can zoom out. So if I were to click and drag that way, I can go this way, this way, this way, this way. I know we're all getting vertigo at this point in time, but you see what I mean. Now, prior to uh, Adobe having the scrubby zoom, I'm going to turn this off. And you'll see that what we used to have is, let's say I wanted to zoom in on this middle window in the top row here. What I would do is click, hold, and drag a marquee. All right, and then as soon as I let go of the mouse, then whatever's inside the marquee will fill, all right, and come into my window. All right, so I'm just going to put back the scrubby zoom and just zoom it out to something like that. Now, this is um, somewhat annoying to me, the way the window has not resized the way I thought it was going to be. So I'm just going to do a quick command minus to get my window to be that way. Now, the other thing that you might have noticed is the fact that I have um, floating document windows as opposed to uh, typical tabbed and all that docking stuff going on. I personally don't like it. That's just my personal preference and uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later on. Now, uh, the other thing that I want to point out as a matter of going about uh, uh, navigating and zooming through your image is uh, this guy over here in the histogram and navigator grouping of panels. There is the navigator. Now, we, right now we see the red outline around the whole image and that's because we can see the whole image in my window. I'm going to go over and grab the move tool just so I don't have that zoom tool going on there. Now, if I was to do a keyboard shortcut of Command or Control Plus to zoom in, all right, right now we still see that, ah, there's just a little edge. See, I can move that up and down just a tiny, tiny bit, and that's just because we've got a little bit of wiggle room in here. But if I zoom in to 100% right now, now you're going to start to see that what is being represented in my window is being shown to me in this red square. And if I zoom in a little bit more, you can now see that uh, this is what's being shown. If I want to navigate around my image to see what is going on in other parts, I could use this feature to do that. If I wanted to zoom in or zoom out a little bit at a time, I can come in and just scoop this guy across and work with that. I can also come in here and type in a value of 55, hit enter, and I'm at 55% viewing. I can go in other uh, predetermined sizes by clicking on these guys, similar to Command or Control plus and minus. All right, now the one last thing that I want to talk about at this point in time when we're navigating around is uh, I'm just going to do a command plus a couple of times. Now you're starting to see that I have scroll bar over here. As soon as you zoomed in greater than your um, window is large enough to show your image, I think I I don't know if I explained that properly, but, you know, zoomed in to the point where you need to use your scroll bars. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, if you need to manipulate or get around your image um, without going over to here and scooting that guy down, what you can do is hold down the space bar. Space bar, holding down the space bar will temporarily change any tool into the hand tool. The hand tool will now allow me to click and then drag down or drag up in my document window very handy. I use this all the time. All right. The other thing is you can zoom in and zoom in and zoom in. So let's see what is the greatest amount that we can zoom in to. So I'm just going to zoom into this thing here and keep going. And we're up to 3200% zoom in. How far can we zoom out? Well, that's something we're going to have to see. All right, and I'm just going to scoop over here, get this to go there, and it's 0.2%. I mean, that's absolutely ridiculous, but anyways, there we go. Now, the other keyboard shortcuts I wanted to mention were over here. We have um, the fit on screen is command zero, and actual pixels is the command one. All right, so it's either command on the Mac or control on the PC to zoom in. Commander Control Plus to zoom out, Commander Control Minus. To fit it on the screen to the available height if it's a vertical image or width if it's a horizontal image, Command Zero. And then to get your one to one, 
All right, 100% viewing, one image pixel for one screen pixel. It's command one, one to one, all right? And then we have print size. So let's just see what this is gonna do. If I do command zero, I am now fitting to the available space on my screen vertically. I don't go any higher than the options bar and I don't go any lower than this little bottom part of the pane. All right, and if I was to do a command one, I am now at 100% view. And since that is greater than the height of the window that I'm allowed to use because of my screen resolution and monitor and all that kind of fun stuff, and the document itself, uh, I get to hold down the space bar and scroll up and down to navigate around. All right, one last thing I wanna do is I just wanna check this print size thing and we'll see what that looks like. And there you go. That is the print size. Now, you're looking at that and you're saying, what in the heck is that? And let me just go under the image menu and go down to image size. And down here, what we're looking at based on the resolution of the image, this is approximately what we're going to end up with. Okay, there we go. I think that's enough for this video. And we'll see you in the next